What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Renegade. And as you can see, we got an ATV. I uh, hope y'all, you know, if you're coming in, make sure to sub in and follow for more. And also like this video. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's get to 100 subs. Uh, I know we're going to get there um, and consistently uh, growing and stuff. Been very humbling and stuff. Um, I'm just glad I can, you know, share my phone with my ATV. Like a bitch in high gear. Well, I know that. They say don't quit using that. They told me to use that shit right there. So E, I mean ethanol, yeah, I mean E87 basically, no, yeah, alright, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, they got yeah. that shit running right since I put it in there, I'll tell you that. Guys, we're gonna go on the back of the trail and uh test it. Got my brother right there. No, you're not. You're going to be good.
you see, I got to ride it in low. I got to check the clutch out. So guys, I can ride the four wheeler in high, but you gotta put a little bit more gas uh, into it. But he did say the clutch is slipping, so um, yeah, but riding in low uh, is pretty good. Um, especially when, you know, going through like little mud and coming up a hill really works great. I did put it in high, it does pull uh, good, but it does like shudder uh, a little bit. I think I can put it in that way. Um, but overall, that thing, that thing pulled nice and stuff. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, let me get to the video. Just want to say that um, every, everything functions. It's just that the clutch slipping when it's in high. So we got to, like, figure that out. And I'm probably going to mention that again, like, towards the end of the video. So, yeah. Uh, but it's a new motor, as he has said. So, as a matter of fact, I'm really thankful for the opportunity to get it. Man, you know, I got my brother, though. I'm gonna have to go like do a thorough inspection on here. He got oil and all that on here, but I'm gonna have to do my own thorough inspection and all that. Make sure everything good. That was a test run. Uh, the folder did amazing and stuff, but we're gonna uh, do another video on some particular issues. Nothing uh, too crazy. But as you can see, we got the Renegade with the players and stuff. Um, I'm gonna just call it a Sportsman 500. Um, we got the 500 motor in there. I just woke um, up. Let's go out and do it real quick. It's currently Guys, as I mentioned, uh, the engine did not have oil last time before he swapped it. Uh, the people who was working on it forgot to put oil in it, so he was riding around thinking it had oil, and it just ended up blowing the engine. But anyway, he had somebody put in the 500. Uh, he helped him out and uh, did it. But he did say the clutch is slipping a little bit, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Um, and I'm going to give y'all like the other little gimmicks and all that later down the road and stuff. So y'all stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you watched the video all the way through this way, I really appreciate it. Thank you. And got the Renegade right there. I'm gonna take it out for some riding. I need to hit some more trails and possibly some more mud parks um, in a bit. But shoot, we're gonna focus on this. So we'll do like a little series on the Sportsman 500 instead of the 450. So. All right, so stay tuned. Um, that's pretty much it, man. I'm real excited about it. I'm gonna go do everything. And it's, um, and the stuff that need to be fixed, basically. Anyways, you guys, this thing looks so crazy from here. Like I said, man, y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned, man. We ain't gonna go 
too fast with it. We're going to be going one by one with uh, simple little upgrades. Um, like I said, stay tuned, man. Man, look at this beauty, oh, both of them.